The Brand Africa Conference kicks off in Ventuk at a time when Namibia is classified as a high-risk country due to the rise in COVID-19 infections and deaths. However, while it is mostly European countries issuing travel advisories against Namibia, African nations are still hopeful that with the vaccinations and compliance to other health protocols, infections can be kept at bay. More than 15 delegations are attending the Brent Africa Conference, as well as nine tourism ministers. said that the numbers were increasing the last two weeks, but this conference was planned uh, five months ago. We, we had options to cancel it or, or do it. So uh, everything worldwide, the, the situation is quite difficult. But with the vaccination process, with new digital platforms, with new products, it's going much better. We see the numbers are decreasing worldwide, and we decided to don't cancel uh, the conference. We have uh, quite big numbers of attendees uh, during this very hard time, and uh, I think this uh, period will over. I know that last week, at the same time, uh, Namibia started very active process of vaccination. And with the time, everything will be sold, and I'm sure that Namibia will uh, start receiving international tourists. We came from uh, Europe, and we saw that the planes are full. The people are still traveling uh, here, and this is a good sign. The UN World Tourism Organization chief is confident that Brent Africa Conference will achieve the intended outcome. The conference mainly wants to profile the continent as a safe destination for tourists and this forms part of the pilot projects for each country. We started this process one year, one year ago and today we have a workshop and tomorrow we will have a workshop and we will discuss with African ministers how do they see the brand of Africa. We want to make Africa more visible, more attractive, more trendy worldwide and also same time to do pilot projects for individually for countries. We are starting from Namibia because we are here, we agreed from the beginning, and I think it's a historical step to uh, show all the world that African continent is attractive. Attractive for tourism, attractive for investments. President Gengop will also join the discussions at the conference. I'll, I'll see it through a little bit some of the time since to learn from but I read the paper, the paper, I like the few points that we already mentioned there. The objective is to leverage tourism as cross-cutting sector of high impact on national and human country to enhance the image of African destination. It gives the public and private sectors, as well as local communities and diaspora, in promoting positive stories. Earnings from Namibia's tourism sector are at an all-time low, according to the recent figures released by the Bank of Namibia. The sector lost more than $3 billion in 2020 due to a ban on traveling, closing of businesses, and limited number of travelers visiting the country, even after the gradual reopening of borders and other numerous factors. Blanche Corres in BC News, State House.